So I appreciate you all for making it. Uh, for those of you online, thank you for uh, taking the time to sit at your computer. <laughs> Um, so we're very excited. Uh, we have a very full couple days going here today. We hope you find it rewarding too. Um, as a number of you have noted, um, this is uh, one of those few opportunities where we get everybody with sort of an interest in trying to apply open source to industrial use cases together in one place. Right? So it's a real excellent chance to kind of understand what the concerns are, what the opportunities are, and how we can more effectively work together. So with that, um, I have Paul Evans here. He's uh, our Director in Manufacturing Robotics and Technologies here at South West Research Institute. He's going to say a few words to kick things off. Paul? All right, thanks. And, and poor, kind of a cameraman, too, at the same time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks, Matt. Um, yeah, so just to kick us off, um, set the tone for our event, I uh, want to first uh, welcome everyone here. And, and just a brief safety moment we'll take first. Um, You'll see that our exit signs clearly indicate where you can go to get outside the doors. So you can come in this way towards the front or to the back. Um, the other thing is too, obviously with the interesting time we're in with the virus, uh, certainly you'll see that we've all adjusted to you know, elbow bumps uh, for greetings. So um, look forward to uh, getting you guys with an uh, elbow bump here soon later. My youngest son suggested that we would go to bowels, but uh, so it's really your choice. Um, yeah, so uh, let's just uh, kick this off with a little intro. Um, I know some of you all have not been here to Southwest Research before, so high-level intro to the organization. Uh, we're an organization of approximately 3,000 people. Most of us are located here in San Antonio, Texas, and we host the Ross Industrial uh, Americas and Consortium and uh, collaborate with our partners in, in uh, Europe and as well as in Asia Pacific. Uh, so here at Southwest Research, we do more than robotics. We have a team that works in, oh, that's right, um, when, in all kinds of technical domains from what we like to say is deep sea to deep space. Uh, you're, you're looking at an aerial view of our campus, and uh, in deep sea we do things all the way to simulated depth or deep ocean tests for oil and gas products, all the way to um, missions, you may recall the flyby Pluto was led by Southwest Research Institute, so that's the kind of the deep sea to deep space. Um, my team and Matt and others that you'll meet here at Southwest Research, we're working in the manufacturing domain, so industrial manufacturing, automation, um, industry 4.0, uh, those kinds of topics are what we uh, live in every day. Um, so. Uh, with that, hope you enjoy your time here at Southwest Research. You'll get to look around the campus a little bit during our lab tours. Um, we're very uh, happy to have you, and if you need anything while you're here, please let us know. We have guest Wi-Fi for you if you haven't found that already with no, no password to get on there, and uh, whatever you need to make yourselves comfortable. So with that, um, you know, certainly the area of industrial grade robotics has been something that we're passionate about. We've been working at Southwest Research in this domain for uh, over, um, I guess it's probably about 35 years now. And um, this is just a picture, picture kind of a, a mishmash of all kinds of different things that we've worked on before from even the early days where you'll see there's a, you know, a Cincinnati Millicron hydraulic robot that maybe many of us have never had a chance to play with, uh, all the way to uh, you know, the largest, what we think is the largest mobile manipulator in the world. So we're we're living and breathing um, challenging industrial robotics and automation problems every day. And that was one of the motivations for us to get involved with Ross Industrial. We saw that as an enabler for advancing the state of the art in robotics and solving a lot of the challenges that we know that you all face in areas such as interoperability, advanced motions and path planning and collision avoidance and capabilities that we don't necessarily um, traditionally get with um, with robotics, and, but now we're finding that that's becoming more mainstream and we're thinking that, or we'd like to think that Ross Industrial is certainly pushing uh, the whole industry forward to be on the cutting edge of advanced capabilities. So just a little historical perspective. You know, so in the beginning, um, you know, back in 2012, May 3 of 2012, uh, we were just in the heart of launching a repository and and got a shout out at Roscon, and that was exciting for us to see that, hey, maybe this could become something. And we had one of our staff members 
uh, Sean Edwards, who may be here. At, actually, he's our keynote, I think, today, so you'll see him later. Uh, we threw internal research and investments at Southwest Research. Um, he went out to Willow Garage and said, well, let's see if we can get an industrial robot to do the same things that we do with other robots, but using Ross. And so the, I guess it has music, but the picture on the, uh, the video on the right is basically showing us running the same software that was running on a PR2 arm, but with a Motoman robot. So those were the early days before the consortium was formed. And with that, that seeded the thought that we can move forward into this space. We need more connections to different industrial robots, and we need to uh, see what we can do to advance the state of the art. So then in March 2013, we launched the first consortium. Um, you can see the organizations that were there to help us kick that off. And uh, some of you are still in the room here today, and, and thank you, hats off to you for helping us get this launched and started in what it is today. Uh, so at that time, we just had 14 organizations and just a handful of people uh, working on what do we do next and what's our roadmap and what's our strategy and how do we get there. And it worked. So thank you for that. And then we've grown from there to now it's an international partnership or collaboration with the Fraunhofer Institute, IPA, um, Advanced Remanufacturing Technology Center, and Southwest Research working hand in hand to advance globally the state of the art and advanced capabilities, tools, uh, industrial robotic solutions. And we value that collaboration. And if you get a chance, we encourage you to, if you're in those regions, to check out what's going on in those regions as well, because there is a flavor, a difference between the things that we focus on here in the Americas and what Asia Pacific focuses on and what Europe focuses on. And we coordinate those differences so that we're all working together to kind of build the capabilities in a coordinated fashion. 